everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Gio here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying productive, all of that good shit. Today's video is a highly requested video and that is how to build a smart wardrobe and how to shop on a budget. Now this video is mad important because I do many affordable videos, many videos in general just showing you lot sick stuff to buy, affordable alternatives, essentials, all of that stuff. So this video is definitely an important one, especially if you've not got a lot of money to spend on clothing and you're on a budget. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. And yeah, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy it. So we're gonna be covering a few different topics within this subject. But the first thing I wanna start on, which is the most important, is your budget. You know, set a budget in mind, how much you wanna spend a month on clothing, depending on your job or what you do to make money you know just have a number in mind that you want to spend you know or you could like put away a certain amount of money weekly to go towards that end of month spending or you know spending at the start of month so budget is definitely one thing that you want to keep in mind you don't want to go over budget you know there is more important things to close in life so you just got to bear that in mind you don't want to be looking fly looking fresh and then you've not got money to go and I don't know, eat or something like that. And you'll be surprised, some people do it, like it's not that deep. So just bear that in mind. <laughs> but yeah, on to the next thing, essentials. Okay, essentials are like your base foundation, you know, you're gonna mix these essentials with more loud pieces and crazy pieces that you buy. So essentials are definitely important and think about colors as well, you know, blacks, grays, dark shades, they tend to go with more things Whereas if you bought a pair of yellow trousers, you know, it's going to go with a few different shades, grey and stuff, but it's not going to go with as much stuff as, as if it was black, you know. So bear that in mind. Essentials, I never spend too much on essentials. I always keep it cheap. You know, t-shirts, I'll go to next, Uniqlo. You don't need to be cashing out on plain essentials. Even cargo pants, you don't need to be cashing out on basic essentials like that. Says the one that has a pair of Rick Owens cargo pants and many other pricey pairs, but you know, you still got to think of that. Even when you go out and you're shopping and you see a crazy piece, I make this mistake many times. I see something mad, I'm just like, I love that. I want to buy it. I don't even think about what I'm going to wear it with. And then when I get home, I realize I've got nothing to wear it with. And then I have to buy stuff to actually go with that product. So don't make that mistake. When you see something, no matter how much you love it, just think, what am I going to wear this with? Do I have basic essentials to go with it? Or do I have some pieces at home in my wardrobe that are going to go with that piece, you know? So you want to get pieces that you can blend into many different outfits. That way you can wear it, you know, many different times. Like I've bought jackets that are like, have that have like crazy patterns all over, bright colors and shit. And I only, and I only wear it like three times because I can't really, you know, mix it in with a lot of outfits and I get bored. So bear that in mind. All right, the next topic I want to speak about is investing your money in pieces that are going to give you some sort of money back, you know? For example, sometimes I spend about 200, 300 on a pair of shoes that are like, you know, quite expensive, but I know the shoe holds value and I know that in time, if I did get bored of that, I could make my money back or make even more money back. So it's not that bad when you spend a lot on the item that you can get your money back. But if you spend 300, 400 on something and you can't, and it, and it, and it loses its value and you can't really get your money back, that's not really a good investment. So think about what you wanna buy, you know? If you really do want something that's expensive, but it can give you your money back or more, then go for it. So definitely bear that in mind. It is calm to go Zara, Uniqlo, and buy pieces that you love if they are affordable. It's not too deep. But when you're spending, let's say, more than 100 pounds, think of something that can hold its value and also hold its quality, you know? Because you wanna, you wanna, you wanna invest in good quality pieces. Like many of my pieces, jackets, jeans, etc., I've had for years because the quality is just on point. And speaking of that, I wanna go on to vintage shopping, which I think is one of the best ways to build a smart wardrobe is by vintage shopping because it's the only, it's not the only option, but it's the best option when it comes to buying good quality stuff for cheap. But with vintage shopping and thrift stores and shit like that, it is a hit and miss. Sometimes you're not gonna find stuff. Sometimes you're gonna find wavy pieces, but that's just how it is. So definitely look up thrift stores and vintage stores. You know, just Google your area, Google where the stores are. Just find out, do your research, you know, get on it, man, trust me. 
vintage stores are one of my favorite like i find best deals for cheap and even like designer pieces you can find vintage designer pieces that ain't that that, that aren't that expensive and it's definitely one to look into also be on the lookout for sales you know sign up to newsletters get them discount codes do all of that stuff because sales always pop up if you're in london there's sample sales if you're not in london there's always some sort of sales going on and also when it comes to shopping and buying online during the winter time you can actually find a lot of summer pieces which are really cheap because obviously the change of season bear all of these what i'm saying in mind and you will definitely be able to build a smart wardrobe another point i want to mention is quality over quantity like my wardrobe if you see my wardrobe right now i have so much shit in it but i only wear a small percentage of it because i've just been out and i've bought stuff that i just like i'm not going to wear anymore because i'm just bored of it or it doesn't blend with a lot of outfits so you know you don't want to overfill your wardrobe just buy pieces that you're really going to wear a lot and pieces that are really going to last you know you, i know you, sometimes you might think you'd rather have many more options but what's the point of having many options if most of them are not as good you know so yeah definitely do that don't overfill your wardrobe you know resell stuff even if you're making a depop and just old things that you think no one might want just throw them on depop for 10 pound or cheap you know try at least get something back from it you know another thing i want to talk about is color like for example a lot of people are more are into that kind of neon color trend that i think pride has kind of got everyone on and like colors like that for example in like a few months or a year or two you're not you're gonna get bored of that piece because the colors are so bright it's like say you went shopping and you just bought loads of red yellow and blue pieces it's like bro you're gonna get stuck unless you've got basic essentials to go with them pieces you're gonna be stuck but um yeah i think that's about it for this video i could go on and talk forever about this but i want to keep it short i don't want it to be too messy so um yeah that's about it for this video if you enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more videos like this more you know shopping guides tips and all that type of stuff then let me know down below in the comments make sure to give the video a thumbs up and until the next video i'll see you then take care stay productive